Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Polkadot and the DOT token. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the t Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So you guys know I'm very bullish on Polkadot for this market cycle. It was accumulation, uh, basically the minute it launched and we've been periodically covering it on the channel. We don't cover it as many as much as the other cryptocurrencies uh, that we talk about like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Link, and ADA, but it's mainly because there's not a whole lot of data to look at and this channel is focused on more of a data centric, it's more of a data centric channel. But with that said, we can still look at some trends and speculate somewhat. Okay, so we are still just systematically pushing up and we bounced off the 20 day moving average twice. Okay, we bounced off of it at $8 in January, January 12th. We bounced off of it at around $16 or so in late January. So about two weeks later or so. And now the 20 day moving average is at $24. So the 20 day moving average is obviously moving up fairly quickly as is the price, right? I mean, it's just a, a lagging indicator. So what we wanna do is we wanna do an update on where is the dot valuation with respect to Bitcoin and Ethereum. Okay, and then we're gonna come back to look at USD at the very end. So with, with again, against Bitcoin, again, it still looks fairly similar to what we saw for the Ethereum launch. If we switch this over to the daily time frame. We, we know we've been talking about this for a while, the idea that we we had a Q4 drop, a January pump, and then we're breaking through in February. Okay, so we are sort of trying to break through. And this was the same sort of trend that Ethereum saw against Bitcoin back in, in 2015, 2016. You guys know this, we've talked about it many times. We've made this comparison every time every time we talk about DAW because it's, you know, there's not a whole lot we can do other than make these short-term comparisons. So again, Ethereum launched, it bled against Bitcoin in Q4, started a pump in January, and then broke through in February. And remember, one of the things that we've discussed is that this was a, a bleed of around, around 80% or so. And then once it started pumping, let's let's just take it from say here, it pumped a fairly significant amount over the next several months into March. Okay, it pumped a, a modest 1800%, maybe up to 1900% from December. Okay, so 80% drop, 1800, 1900% pump. That was Ethereum. So what has DOT done? Well, it looks fairly similar if we were to take a measured move here. So let's take a measured move of the price. So we had a now a 70% drop or so, followed by a nice pump so far up 300%. Now, I don't think that it would necessarily go up, say, 1800% uh, against Bitcoin. I think that would be a little far-fetched, especially considering its market capitalization is already, uh, you yeah, know, I mean, back then Ethereum's market capitalization was tiny. So it was a lot easier for it to have these manic moves um, it doesn't mean that DOT can't have manic moves. In fact, this is one hell of a run, but let's just be somewhat pragmatic. Uh, with that said, hopefully this is the very beginning of what will be a defining breakout for the DOT Bitcoin valuation. What would we like to see? You guys know the drill. We would like to see Bitcoin sort of just do its thing, not get too volatile one way or the other. Actually, DOT seems to be one of the few tokens that actually does, seems to do fairly well against USD when, when Bitcoin is pumping. So even, even with Bitcoin pumping, we've seen DOT trend higher. You know, take a moment to just consider the fact of how content we already are with a $30 DOT. It wasn't even that long ago when we were talking about accumulation between three to $6 and that we'll probably look back on this time and say, what a great accumulation phase. Here we are. We're at a $30 dot. It's amazing how quickly people can become comfortable with orders of magnitude increase in the price. Now, if we were to continue increasing at this rate, which again, there's a decent chance we don't, but let's just suppose that we keep going up this curve. Let's remove the 20 day moving average and say, you know what? What if we just simply continue? 
any given day, people can be bearish depending on what the price is doing. But so far, this run is standing the test of time. It's still continuing higher. So if we continue on this, basically at this pace, which again, there's no guarantee that we would, you can see that we are on pace to reach a $100 dot by the end of March. Okay, and again, we're not, we're, we're not saying that it will reach that. We're just saying that if this trend were to continue. So it, it shows you how quickly the entire asset class can change once you start getting on these pumps. Now, one of the interesting things about the dot Bitcoin valuation is that it also looks similar to the dot Ethereum valuation, which is key because remember, I use Ethereum as my altcoin index. Okay, I want to I want to be able to see these altcoins pump like mad when when, when the market conditions are 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 catalyzed for that because if they can't ever outperform bitcoin can't ever outperform ethereum then you can't really justify holding them in my opinion it's not financial advice but you can see that a dot blood against ethereum uh in in q4 which we talked about we came on and did videos and said we think this will be short-lived and we've moved back up to the top and it looks like it's basically at the same spot essentially it's dot bitcoin valuation and the dot ethereum valuation so what i'm hoping to see is I'm hoping that Ethereum kind of holds off for a little bit. Like I, I'd rather Ethereum have a crazy move, not quite yet, because I would like to see these other altcoins, smaller cap coins pump first. So what I would like to see is I would like to see DOT break out against Bitcoin. I would like to see DOT break out against Ethereum. And obviously to see DOT continue to trend up this curve against USD. This is a coin I'm very bullish on for this cycle. It's one of my top five for sure, and we'll continue to cover it every step of the way. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Remember, we have the premium list, which you can find a link to the altcoin season sale in the description below. So make sure you guys check that out if you wanna get access to the premium list and get access to the weekly reports and videos the alerts channel, the trading view indicators, the telegram, chat room, the risk dashboard, etc. Make sure you sign up, lock in the lower rate. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. We'll see if DOT can push to $40 in the coming weeks. And if it does, I'm sure we'll come on and do a video update to show if in fact we are continuing to break out against Bitcoin and Ethereum, or if this time it we're kicking the can down the road. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.